Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, so during the COVID pandemic, we wanted to make sure our kids kept playing sports and had an opportunity to continue to play tennis. And so we built a backboard that allows them to play by themselves so they don't fight each other. And uh, it really was probably about $60 in total uh, to build this out. And it allows them to kind of just rally with themselves, play against the board, make sure that they continuously are playing tennis, continuously swinging, reacting to the ball and things like that. So obviously it still needs to be painted. Um, we haven't gotten to that yet. We probably should put a line in it too instead of just drawing it with a pencil across it. But you know, hey, that's what my kids did anyway. So at the end of this, all this really is, is it's just plywood. It's cheap plywood, like $13 for a four by eight sheet of plywood. Got two of them. And then um, I did one by threes just to try to keep it a little bit lighter for the back of it. I did one by threes and just framed it out so it gave it more um, rigidness to it. And then the really the toughest part about building this was how should you angle it? Because technically to get a more realistic rebound, they say you should angle it just a little bit and you'll get a, a more realistic rebound from playing an actual opponent. So in order to do that, we basically built this in where you'd have a couple of, a couple of pieces where you could actually slide in. Uh, an angled cut board so we cut this at a 35 degree angle and then we cut the bottom at a 35 degree angle as well and basically just made this so that when he's hitting hard against it it won't pop out and we then we wanted to also make sure that if there was a strong wind coming from behind it that it wouldn't blow flat and take out a child so what we did is we really just create did an eye bolt on each side staked it to the ground right behind the wood so it actually holds the wood in place and it holds it from going forward and uh and it's going flat forward so we did that on both sides we did three different supports the other thing is no matter what you do to a wood board like backboard like this it's not going to look very pretty and your neighbors aren't going to want it up full time so this allows us to pull up two stakes we fold the board together so i did two four by eight sheets so it actually folds flat together and when it's down you can just fold it flat and uh, carry it in your garage and that way hopefully your HOA and other people won't complain about it because they'll play with it during the day and then um, shut it down during the night. Okay, so all we did here is these are one by threes. So we got about 12 of these. So 12 one by threes and we cut them to, to be basically four feet across, eight feet tall. So it would go on our two sheets that we bought of plywood. So we bought two four by eight sheets of plywood. They're 13 bucks a piece at Home Depot for a grand total of $26 for the sheets of plywood. These are about $250 a piece at Home Depot, $260 a piece at Home Depot. We bought 12 of those. Then I just used some random screws I had around the house um, for screwing this onto it from the front. So we screwed these all on from the front, did some wood screws for it. Bought two eye bolts just so we could take it down really easy. So these, I just put the eye bolts to the top. It's really just so we can connect the ropes really easy and get it set up really quick. So that's what we bought. And then I bought three hinges to go in the middle. And basically just got some three outdoor hinges uh, that allow us to fold it down, but still are rigid enough and big enough that it'll hold it together. Cause these aren't super light, but they're not overly heavy that you can't move it. The stone that's on the driveway is left over from another shop. That has nothing to do with this at all. It just happens to be behind this. So he has, um, and she has enough distance to actually hit the ball against the backboard. So that's really it. I used some leftover rope and a couple stakes just to make sure it doesn't fall flat forward. But these aren't these aren't connected at all. So if you look at the middle one, which just has some, some witch call to it, it's not connected at all. See, it just comes right out. But we we didn't want this to skip. We didn't want this board to skip down the board if they hit it really hard. So by putting the, the ropes in and holding it and pulling it tight against the ground these things will keep this from sliding this way or moving depending on where they hit the ball. So that's all we did is built in these little square things. So, and these are all independent. They just come off. So it all folds flat. That's really it. Uh, thank you. Goodbye. If you have any questions, send us, put us a comment below, give us a thumbs up, watch more videos. Um, maybe we'll paint it up and we'll show you it again because it will look a lot better when we actually throw some green paint on it and put a white line on it. So that's it. Thanks. Bye.